So Chuck, you're my doctor. What was the impetus to finally go ahead and get a... We said we're gonna get a pool and you said you are not getting a pool. <laughs> what yard would you rather be in? This one or this one? So we're downtown Chicago. I literally hear the loop right over there. It's a little bit of suburbs in the city. It's amazing. And the pond that we put back here fits yes. to a Chicago backyard. It's peaceful. People feel that they're not downtown and uh, just that it's beautiful. All right, so I'm out with my wife. We're going to dinner with our friends, Dr. Chuck and his wife, Stephanie. And I asked him if it would be okay if I came with my vlog camera and vlog the beautiful water feature that we put in last year here. We are in St. Charles, Illinois. This is the water garden capital of the world. And I'm Greg Witzak, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzak, the Pond Guy. And there is my beautiful bride of 21 years. Let's see how she reacts when she sees the vlog camera. 5.30. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. Oh. <laughs> you got me. I believe you. you Does Chuck have to get dressed? Yes, he's naked. <laughs> All right, we're gonna walk to the back and see this beautiful water feature. Here comes Dr. Chuck. Oh, I'm glad you're not naked. No nudity. This is a family You can see we're friends. Look at this. This yard is the transformation. They did not use their space it was just grass it's a nice neighborhood but you know you can kind of see all the neighbors we uh not only put in the water feature we put in the fire pit because of the lifestyle i mean look at how inviting that is that is just so killer they didn't want a lot of maintenance or really no maintenance and so we put in a pondless waterfall for them and uh basically runs year round and it is just spectacular, and it just changed this whole space. After they got this, they got the hot tub, and now they use their backyard, where before, it was just like this. And once again, look at the contrast. This is what I love about this channel, is to inspire people. What yard would you rather be in? This one, or this one? Not even close. So this is totally living the aquascape lifestyle. You lived it for a long time before this got done. How has it changed how your family interacts and uses your, your yard? While the kids are out here, they never came outside before. We sit out here all the time. We really never came out in our back. I mean, we have the patio and that was it. That's we amazing. feel like we have privacy, like this is our Ish. little oasis. Criticize the yard you can't have total privacy. No, but, but it's amazing the difference that this makes compared to what it was like before. Like, I don't know where these trees came from, but you rock that. So Chuck, you're my doctor, and you would prefer to be a doctor and not a water feature maintenance guy. How much maintenance has this water feature been? Almost none at all. We had some algae, but the ionizing thick. Yep. Um, just giving some leaves off. Really this is a huge transition for your yard. What do people say from the neighborhood that come over and visit you guys? They say, oh my gosh, I can't even believe this is your yard. <laughs> So our neighborhood is Thornwood. This is not a Thornwood backyard. That's what people say. Remember what Ryan said to you when he was four years old and he visited someone's house? He looked out in the backyard and he said, Mommy, where's their pond? That's my boy. He had never seen a house without a water feature. How long did we know each other before you got this water feature? Uh, probably 10 years? 10 years, I bet, right? Years. What was the impetus to finally go ahead and get a... We said we're gonna get a pool and you said you are not getting a pool. <laughs> I am not a big fan of pools because they're one dimensional where a water feature is multi-dimensional and this thing could run year round. Yep. And now I'm so glad we didn't because I don't think this last summer, I don't think we would have been in the pool half the amount of time that we were out here. Your oldest is already in college and pretty soon in a couple years your kids will be gone. Yeah, it would not have gotten the use of this place. So for me, the whole point of this vlog channel is to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle. Chuck and Steph, Thank you for being prime examples of people that live the aquascape lifestyle. If you like this stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and follow along my journeys as I showcase how cool people with neat families live the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job. So we're downtown Chicago. I literally hear the loop 
Yep. You know, right over there. And this house is literally in Lincoln Park, a beautiful area of downtown Chicago. But the coolest thing about this is it's a little bit of suburbs in the city. It's amazing. And the pond that we put back here fits yes. to a Chicago backyard. And it actually transformed the space. Well, let me just show you. Let's go see it. Check it out. <laughs> little piece of heaven in the downtown Chicago. Oh, well, it's true. We oh feel uh, removed from the city here. You totally do. Beautiful water. You Look got how clear it is. Look at the size of the impatience in the waterfall. Is this a guest house back here? It's our garage. Oh, okay. It looks like a guest house. Look at this. So I've been vlogging with Greg now for I think this is our 15th day in a row. And uh, one thing I've learned about him that I did not know, even though I worked with him for 23 years, is after the age of 47, 48, and I think he's right around that age, for all you guys out there, we're guessing how old he is. Now you know he's 47 years old. He uh, really at two o'clock needs his nap, right? And he just kind of shuts it all down. In fact, he was sleeping uh, in the 15 minute car right over here. And so now he's really supposed to be interviewing and doing kind of this up in here. And if you see him down here, he's really just more part of the picture. What I really wanted to show you guys was this view and the whole inspiration of doing this project is that they every night come to this table, eat dinner, every morning they sit here, have their coffee, every afternoon lunch is spent out here on this awesome screened in back porch and we're obviously in the middle of the city, right? Everything from the back of the garage, which really looks like a, you know, some type of retreat to the little water feature to the overhanging trees there's an apple tree back there that you know of course has thousands of flowers on it in the spring it's like a living piece of art so they just sit up here the pond is on autopilot with its dosing system and its ion gen the biofalls the bowl it's when i say it's, it's a living piece of art they look at it as buying a big picture that has movement and stuff to it all the time and it's always evolving so through the seasons it changes spring it's got its flowers between these trees and the cedar and the apple tree like all changing colors and evolving the pond growing and evolving i mean this pond's only a year old and it looks like it's been there for five look how big the impatience are growing right out of the water the bowl's got the water highest and then it the lily's looking good the fish actually had babies it is an unbelievable vacation spot right here in the middle of chicago illinois Look at this backyard. I just was literally sitting out here for 15 minutes. I couldn't even tell that I was in the city. It felt completely relaxed. I got the sound of the water. Every once in a while, you'd hear a fire engine or a cop car go by. But look at this backyard with the hardscape, the waterscape, the landscape, and look at the traditional backyard next door. Now, here's the most amazing thing. That yard right there, I guess it's a little bit smaller, but this feels so much bigger because there's so much going on. There's so many different things to look at and feel. If you want to get the grass greener, don't worry about getting the grass greener. Get a water feature. So Flavio and I had this discussion on the way over here. I said, Flavio, if you had to choose, could you live out on a farm in the middle of nowhere or the city? Like you had to choose one or the other. Mm -hmm. And both of us were going back and forth, back and forth. Pros and cons. And both of us said the only way we could live in the city is if you had a quiet place to get away, right? And as we walk down the street, nobody else really has that. You guys have it back here. So it's just kind of awesome that you have the yep. really quiet the best of backyard yeah. and, and then all of the energy of the city at the same time. Right. Yeah. No, we enjoy that. The loudest noise today is the wind. Yeah. Yeah. And Rudy is one lucky dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. He fell in the gravy. <laughs> Very good. Awesome.
So I've been sitting there watching the bees, just constantly going back and forth. If the bees didn't have a place like this, where would they go? You know, for their water. So just all day long, the bees just come in here. This is part of their part of their routine to get water from this pond. Yeah. In the city. So I'm watching the fish eat the algae, and people are always worried about, what if I'm out of town for a week? Let it go, it's an ecosystem. So those fish, they feed them, but when they're not feeding them, they're grazing on the algae, and it's part of the ecosystem. What's neat is people think of the pond right now, like in the summer, but you actually enjoy it, you said year round. I do, in the spring, uh, it, it's great to see all the different shades of green coming up. Things uh, keep evolving into the summer. Oh, there <laughs> look it goes. Look at the a dog, look at right. a dog. I've got to ask you though, you've lived here for a long time, so this was a big change. Yes, but it's not our first pond. Okay, so you had a pond before. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth pond. So the average consumer gets three water features, big, bigger, biggest. Is that how happy with you? <laughs> yes, I think this is as big as we can go now without yeah. completely eliminating the backyard <laughs> and access to the garage, but that's exactly the trajectory. So was this your husband's hobby, both of your hobbies, like how did this... No, it's really Jerry's hobby. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm into the gardening part yeah, of it. I he is tell. as well. He started with a small pond that was just that little kidney-shaped... Preformed tub. ...thing, mm -hmm. yeah. And then graduated to something larger, and then larger again, and then we renovated the whole house again, and changed the patio, and then you guys came yeah. in and made this one last year. What do people that come here for the first time say? Because they're not expecting to see this, especially no, in the city. They're, they're not. I hear a lot that it's peaceful. People feel that they're not downtown. That's 100% true. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, just that it's beautiful. You know, and they enjoy seeing fish. You don't see fish yes. a lot. Sometimes you see water features around town, like in restaurants and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't always have fish. What was it like seeing these guys work? These guys, <laughs> these guys are fantastic. I have to say it. They're all really nice, really beautiful to look at. <laughs> see? <laughs> She made me say that. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> really skilled. They had great creative ideas on the spot. How long did it take to build? I think you were in and out of here in it was a little less more than, than two it was, days. Yeah, it was it? a little more than a day. Digging was actually pretty easy. More times than not, really digging in the city, it's sandy soil, right? You got the lake and everything else. So it's sandy soil. The hardest part is always getting the rock Access, back here. Yeah. Parking, that kind of stuff. Giant, just the logistical part of it all. But the fact that they had a pond before, some of the hole was already there. We made it slightly bigger. We reworked the whole waterfall, just kind of giving it our style. But what I like most about this pond is yep. it's not an enormous pond, nope. right? You couldn't really go bigger. Nope. Like you could go bigger, but then this gets on uncomfortable then this space gets uncomfortable this pond feels enormous in a relatively small setting yes. right it really sets the space i mean just looking at the neighbors with just lawn and this there's so much going on it feels bigger the space feels bigger because there's more going on this is one of your yeah. theories if this was just grass it wouldn't feel as big well it's just properly designed i mean she's got a vegetable garden over there right with yeah, some really awesome vegetables. little tomatoes and oh that's so good. yeah help yourself <laughs> we will <laughs> well what's fun for me as the owner of the company is to see how people are living the aquascape lifestyle in an area uh, you know a high traffic high volume area that you need to live the aquascape lifestyles so we want to get more people encourage more people to do that so hey if you like what you see you get inspired by homeowners that are outside the box thinkers like comment subscribe and follow along and share living the aquascape lifestyle i love my job <laughs>